Hey, it's Mike with TechPB.com. I know it's been a little while since I've put a show out, but uh, just wanted to let you guys know, found out a few weeks ago that me and my wife are pregnant and uh, we're having twins, which I'm really excited about. Um, but that's why I haven't put out a show in a few weeks. Uh, definitely no problems with fertility here. <laughs> anyway, all right, today's show is about loaders. Um, I get emails all the time. Mike, I'm shooting a, um, you know, a VL200. Should I upgrade my loader? Yes, upgrade your loader. Um, have you ever seen those uh, movies where the bad guy goes to shoot and he pulls the trigger and it goes click? That's you, okay? When you have one of these, you're going to be missing shots when you're out there playing. Definitely get rid of this. Um, sure, it came with your gun or, you know, you got it at the store, but you definitely want the first, one of the first things you want to do is upgrade your loader. Okay, now I know there's a lot of different choices of loaders that are out there. Um, you've got the Q loader, Pulse, Torque, Quantum, which is the biggest piece of shit. That's worse than muzzle loading. And for you guys that just started playing paintball, muzzle loading is when you have your gun and you put the paintballs in there one at a time. Okay, the, qu <laughs> the Quantum is worse than that. So if you have a Quantum, throw it away. Um, but the world, for the most part, the uh, paintball world is divided up between two loaders. Okay, they've got the Halo style loader because there's the Halo, there's the Reloader B, the Reloader B2, plus all the boards that it comes with, the Virtue board, the Cheetah board, uh, the Victory board, uh, and then obviously you have the Velocity, which uh, the Velocity, now you have the, mostly have the Velocity Junior and the regular Velocity. Now what I want to try to do is, I'm with you know no disrespect to the Q loader, the Pulse, or the, or the, uh, the Torque, but I'm just going to talk about the, the view loaders and the, now the key action products, um, which is the Halo, the Reloader B, and the Reloader B2. Okay, first thing I'll start off with is the, the velocity, okay? Obviously, when um, JT first came out with these, when Vloader first came out with this, there was a little bit of problems with them. They had the ghost problems. I had a couple of them that had the ghost problem. It was where didn't see, the, 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 the loaders didn't seem to want to feed any faster than 13 to 15 balls per second. Okay, they fixed that now. They've got the programming under control. These things are working great. Um, here's what I'll say probably the pros and cons on this, okay? The cons are with the velocities. You have to remember to turn it on and turn it off um, at the beginning at the end of every single game. If you leave this on when you go into the, into the, uh, the pits, you're going to eat batteries like crazy. The velocities do eat batteries. Um, they are also the lightest loader that's out there right now. The velocities are extremely light. Um, and something else I really like about the velocities is that the feed neck is the same thing as the raceway. It's all one piece. So if you break your feed neck, you can go to viewloaderparts.com and get a new one shipped to you for about five bucks. As opposed to the Halo, if you break your feed neck, you're now out $30 for a new shell. So, um, velocity. If you're looking at, you know, what kind of person, you know, would want to get a velocity? Okay, these, these are awesome loaders. I'd give both of these loaders. They're amazing. I know everyone's going to go crazy when they say, oh, you're talking shit about the velocity. You're talking shit about the, the Empire, the Reloader, the Halo. No, I'm not. I'm just telling you the difference. Velocity, very lightweight. Also, the customer service from JT has really stepped it up. Um, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what Nathan Greenman's doing over there. Uh, Veronica Austin, the, the customer service at uh, JT Sports at Viewloader has really stepped it up within the past year. Um, so definitely kudos to them. But so once again, velocity, very lightweight. Um, break the feed neck, it's only about a $5 part, but it eats batteries. Okay, let's go on here to the Velocity Junior. Velocity Junior is a little bit uh, more expensive than the regular Velocity. One thing I do like about it is that it has a larger mouth to feed uh, paintballs into. Um, it comes with only one setting as opposed to the velocity, the regular velocity I believe comes with eight or six, I'm not sure. Um, but it only comes with one setting which is about on setting number two. Now you can hear it, you can hear it and you can see it. It does spin um, when it thinks there's a paintball in the feed neck so it does have a little bit of tension on the ball stack. Um, keeping up at 15 balls per second or 13 balls per second is no problem at all with the Velocity Junior. Um, I know they were a little slow in releasing the, feed, uh, the, uh, the speed feeds for these, but I do have a mod up that shows you how to install a um, speed feed into a Velocity Junior, a regular Halo speed feed. And for you guys that thought that you destroyed your loader by putting two tiny holes in it, there's the little holes, one on one side, one on the other. No problems closing or opening up the lid. Okay. Now let's go through the Halos, the uh, the Empire, uh, the Reloader B, and the Reloader B2. Okay, Halo obviously is the one that started it all. 
Um, they make an amazing, amazing product. One um, all around recommendation I would make is the extended spring. I don't know if you can see it inside there or not, but uh, Shock Tech makes a spring, um, an anti jam spring that goes inside the halos. You can get them for about $2 if you look around. Um, those work really, really well. Um, halo, one thing I do like about the Halo, um, just the standard Halo uh, and, the, and also the Victory Board, is you can leave it on all day. So you turn it on in the morning and you can just leave it on all day. It's not going to keep trying to twist because once it senses that there's a uh, ball blocking the, the eyes, it's just going to stop spinning. So you can leave it on all day. You don't have to worry about turning it on or turning it off. Um, good loaders, uh, they weigh a little bit more than the velocities, um, but they definitely work great. Okay, Empire B2, <clears throat> the Reloader B2. Reloader B2s are brutal on paint if you have the uh, loader set up a little bit too high. Okay, reloader B, anything above setting number two, setting number three especially, you are going to blend paintballs. These things are very, very fast. They, they put an incredible amount of torque on the ball stack at setting three and even at setting two. So when you're shooting a uh, reloader B, definitely be really careful about how high you turn the setting up. Um, at setting, sometimes setting two with fresh batteries and especially on setting three, you're going to be pushing your balls past the detents. And the new loader that they came out with, the B2, I've, I've been shooting the B2 now probably for about six months. I've probably put about 60 cases through it. And the B2 is working very, very well. You can leave the B2 on all day, unlike the Reloader B, which you have to turn off and turn on. Other than that, when you're in the pits, it'll t have a tendency to really try to twist the B2 for some reason. doesn't do that. Uh, so you can leave the B2 on all day. Um, but that should break it, you know, really try to break these down. Now, something interesting that's happened in the past uh, couple of months is obviously PSP has done a rate of fire drop. They dropped the rate of fire from 15 to 13 balls per second, which is kind of interesting because now this new, uh, the view loader iForce um, has now become a contender for people for a backup loader. Um, the iForce works just fine at 13 balls per second. I've shot this, you know, in practices. And it, you know, in scrimmages, and it keeps up at 13 balls per second, no problem at all. Um, it is a little bit square, you know, in the back, so it's going to be a little reminiscent of a pulse. Um, but it sits on top of the gun, pretty nice. So I'll show you that. That's what it looks like on top of the mark. Um, sits nice and low, and it keeps up just fine at 13 balls per second. So say, for instance, you're, you know, like especially here in Florida. You have your standard loader has a speed feed, and you know every, it seems like every tournament we play it ends up raining. This is a great alternative, um, or a great backup loader in case you need one. There he goes. And uh, velocity, uh, which one is faster? Honestly, I don't know. Okay, it depends on your gun. It depends on how far you're willing to take it. I don't care how fast my gun shoots. If it shoots 13 balls per second, that's all I need it for. Any far, any higher than that, my team's going to get pulled a penalty. So, obviously, when you get into what I like to call experimental paintball, um, when you're looking to try to achieve the highest rates of fire possible, you're on your own. Um, you're going to have to probably buy, you know, one of each one of these in order to figure out which is the fastest. Now, here's a tip. Okay, I see people. Um, that after about a year of owning a Halo, um, you know, they start saying, well, my Halo is starting to jam. For some reason, it's starting to jam. I don't understand why it's starting to jam. Okay, for those that race RC cars, you understand that a remote control car has a motor, okay, just like your, just like your loader. And that motor has brushes and a commutator. Over time, that starts to wear down. It's the same thing with the, the loaders. They have a motor, very small one, and over the course of between about 100 to 150 cases, the brushes inside the motor and the commutator are going to start wearing down. So if you've got maybe 100 plus cases on your loader, you're going to have to eventually replace the uh, uh, the motor that's inside there. That's why your halo is jamming. The reason why is because the, the, the brushes that are in contact with the commutator, those are completely worn down. All the electricity that's going to it are n is not uh, spinning the motor, so your loader thinks it's jamming. So. With that said, keep that in mind. I've seen that with some people. You know, they've got loaders that are two, three years old. You know, my loader has always been working, no problems at all. And all of a sudden now it starts jamming like crazy. The reason why is the motor. The motor is only going to last probably 100 to 150 cases and it's dead. So I know the next thing people are going to ask, okay, so now we handle the question of which one's the fastest. I don't know. If you're looking for the fastest loader, you're going to have to buy them all. Sorry, you're going to have to buy them all because you're going to have to figure out on your own which loader works the best on your gun.